I am going to discuss about how to import data from Excel into Calyx Sense. So opening the Calyx Sense, open any app. So or the app open, then you can get here add data from files and other sources. Click there. Then you can get the different option and this place my computer you need to click. Then you need to give the specify path. So here let's uh, copy the path copy from the desktop and before I'm going to do that let's see the file so this is your file if I go on this properties then you can see XL as extension is there so Excel file is there and when you want to uh, see the record double click there then you can see this is the record so although here are columns that are separated by the comma that's fine okay and after that uh, here on the desktop let's uh, select all files employees.xls when you click then this place you can get this all so this all looking fine because uh, there is selected comma if I select semicolon so semicolon is not there then that's why I say uh, comma that's come so if when you want to separate with a comma you need to can select comma because uh, here the contents inside to uh, the file every uh, fields are selected or uh, separated by the comma so you need to select you can use the tab then you can get this all this is not in the current form so selecting their comma after that delimited by default delimited selected then if I select here fixed record then here you can see all the fields here only one so this all that's come into one so this is not correct format so that select the delimited after that here you can give any comment so comment should be meaningful excel example if you want then you can write the some contents then ignore if you want ignore end of the file okay and if you don't want then you can this is here selected standard you can select msq msq there is no any uh, more or changes you can find there so MSQ when I select then here you can see employees for standard employees that added but if I click a standard then a standard here this is uncheck okay and if you want to check uncheck then there will be no any or uh, column that select here okay so this we need to select after that this all looking fine here the next thing is I'm going I don't want this uh, uh, here commission so I'm checking this and thereafter click on this next so here you can see this is uh, this is my file employees Excel then here or you can see this all okay after that the next is if I click here hide preview then this had hidden and thereafter if I here you can see this is added table when I click added table hide then you can now see this all so this all looking fine after that or you can do some association here you can select the tables so looking this is table forms there you can easily get the details so this come from Microsoft SQL and this is Excel file and this is here localhost this all when I when you click there here you can see this is uh, when you click there then you can get this all after that you can perform any kind of operation this places you can use the add field and you can calculate the field also okay and after doing this all things you can load the data association associated load 
so this is now currently loading close that and after that if you want then you can save that so this is how we can uh, import data from Excel into QLXSense so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you